Hello everyone, how are you doing? David and Rebecca here with Daedalus Spinning Wheels. This is the new Magpie, and we want to show you guys maybe some of the features about it, um, some of the different components, uh, a little bit about the standard flyer, that's what it's uh, dressed in now. And we'll show you how to change flyers, how to swap it from Irish to Scotch, and uh, how to operate the speed control, and um, even change the menu settings in it. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Magpie in the standard bobbin and standard flyer. Um, you can see it has a 12 millimeter orifice. It has a hook tool that's magnetically attached on the left hand side here. This is the control unit for the uh, the electronic speed control, the digital speed control. And I'll get I'll come back to it. It's set up in Scotch right now, so you can see that the motor is up front with the drive belt here and then in back we've got the tension system that goes up and over the bobbin and comes down to an anchor on the far side there if you'll notice we've got the tension system kind of duplicated at both ends and so when we switch the motor from up front to in the back to be able to set it up in Irish then we have a place for us to bring the tension knob up front All right. This is the speed control on the face. Um, I don't have it plugged in. This is just the way that it sits. But I want to show you the, the neat thing about actually removing it. Because that's kind of what I prefer to use it. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to take our fingers and we're just, just going to gently push it out from the back. And with a little bit of pressure, it comes right out. We can unplug it from the motor. And now we have it completely separate here. So I'm going to set it down and I'm going to unwire the motor. I have the motor wire kind of wrapped around because there's actually some slack to it. And so I'm going to take that slack out so that it can reach up front and plug back into the speed control. Now keep in mind, I do have an extension cord that's going to be included. This is, I believe, about uh, six feet worth of cord. And basically it just plugs in to this connection here to give you six more feet of, of length. And the reason why you'd want six more feet of length is uh, you can use it as a foot pedal pretty easily. The start stop is the indicated in red here. But if you notice there's a little hole up here at the top. And so I include a foot pedal lever as a little hook here. And so you put the hook into the hole and it's that easy. Now you've got something nice and easy to get to when it's on the ground to stop and start the wheel. I'm going to set this off for the time being because we're not going to use it as a foot pedal. Now, um, in starting up the wheel, uh, in powering it on, it, it, this is a 15 volt wheel. It'll come with a 15 volt wall adapter. Um, the Daedalus battery, it, it's really good at 15 volts. Any battery that, that produces 15 volts is, is just fine. But let's talk about before we do this. Before we plug it in, we want to make sure one single thing, and that's that the direction switch here is in the neutral position. Not down, not up, but in the neutral position. So think of that like park. The reason we do that is, is because when we plug the unit in, it comes on as if it's on. And that was the speed that we were spinning at earlier, so that's 20%. Um, this gives you a chance, if, if it was in one direction, the wheel would come on at this point and you would have to stop it. And so we leave this uh, direction switch in the middle so that we can look and see what speed we have. What if the person spinning before you was at 100%? On a powerful wheel like this, it would be pretty crazy uh, for you just to take off and, uh, and expect to spin at that speed. And so we, we adjust our speed using the up and down arrows. All right, And then we press the start stop button. When you see the three dashes, that means that it's off, okay? But actually, it's slowing down and going to stop. Now we can engage the direction that we want. In scotch, down on the switch is your S-twist. That's your spin. Um, when you flip the motor around in Irish, the direction switch actually reverses, and S-twist would be towards the top. And so there might be a little bit of a discovery process like that if you're swapping back and forth constantly. I think a lot of you guys are going to leave these wheels set up in one configuration for, for, most of its, uh, for most of its use. But what we'll do is, 
go ahead and uh, and so we had it set on 20%. We're down in uh, S, S spin or twist uh, spin mode, and the wheel starts up. And we press it again, and there's a few seconds of delay, and the wheel stops. So it's that simple. We switch to the uh, to ply direction, Z twist. We start it up, we get a delay, and it comes up to speed nice and slowly. And we press it again, and there's your stop delay. Now let's talk about that start and stop delay. Because honestly, that's one of the great things about this wheel. Um, to be able to, to use it, or to adjust it, you have to get into the menu. And so I've got the menu kind of in a little separate window here to itself. What we do is we park the wheel. We put it in neutral. All right? And because to get into the menu, it won't let me unless the, it thinks that the motor is running. So we start the motor. But the motor's not spinning again because we have it in neutral. Now we can enter the menu. There's five menu options. We press menu button once, and we're at option number one and the setting is 030. That's tenths of a second of startup delay time. So this would be 3.0 seconds of startup delay. If I wanted more, I can go all the way up to a 10 second delay. But that's kind of absurd. Um, at least <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't know why you'd need that long of a startup delay. Uh, a shutdown delay, I can kind of see it. But I work with about three seconds, and that's really my preference. I think maybe if you're at really high speeds, uh, five, six seconds to get up to top speed might be nice. But anyway, set it to what you like, and we press menu again. Now we're at the second menu option. And this again is a 3.0 second delay. So this is your shutdown delay, menu item number two, three seconds. I'm going to leave it on that. My battery powered off, so I had to come back into the menu. Um, menu again, option two, three second shutdown delay. Option number three is a minimum speed. And so that means, like, what's the least number you could dial in? And at 5%, the motor really doesn't want to turn. So, you know, reasonably, you might never want to spin slower than 15 or 20%. So you could kind of put in that bottom speed limit. Now, I don't really fall into that category so I leave it at zero so that means I can set the speed to anything from zero to a hundred option number four what's your maximum speed now some of you might actually use this because this wheel is very powerful especially with the standard head it has a lot of speed and if you're a beginner I don't think there's ever a reason you'd ever want to be anywhere near a hundred percent uh, for beginners, I would recommend 50-60%. You might want to set a speed limit that you don't go beyond because uh, it's easy to press and hold the, the speed up button and uh, actually go a little bit more than you're wanting to go. The very last menu option is option number 5, and this is set to 1. What that means is it's the size of the increment where every time when I press a speed adjustment button, how much does it change? Does it go 0, 1, 2, 3? Or I can adjust it to where... It, it's in units of five. So every time I click the button, it goes five, 10, 15% speed, 20% speed. Um, I don't recommend the five. Um, the two might be enough for you, um, but I like individual increments, and I really, it, it doesn't bother me. It, it, they adjust real quickly, uh, so I don't think you'll be buttoning to death to try to change your speed. Once you get it set, you'll make really really small changes to try to fine-tune your sweet spot and so you're really going to I think most of you are going to leave this at one um, so we go through and check them again item number one three second startup delay item number two three second shutdown item number three zero percent minimum speed hundred percent maximum speed for item number four and item number five an increment size of one to save these and get out, you press stop start. And that saves them and you're out of the menu and you never have to go back in there until you want to change anything. And so it appears that the wheel's running, so we're going to press the stop start and shut it down. And if we wanted to go back to spinning, now we choose our direction and start it up. And it's that simple, really. 
So thank you very much. There will be more videos that go over uh, more detail on changing the flyers, uh, threading the flyers, adjusting the tension system. But uh, we'll break that up, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you very much.